Researchers are telling us that the South U.S. is sinking because giant chunks of the Earth's mantle is falling off, and this is what's causing earthquakes in the southern U.S., and they say that more will be coming. The area hit by a series of strange and unexplained quakes is not just man-made induced from hydraulic fracturing. It has to be more than that. The most recent, the 2011 magnitude 5.8 in Mineral, Virginia, shook the whole area. The area should be seismically quiet as it is in the middle of Earth's tectonic plate, but it's not. This by Mark Prigg, Daily Mail Online. This is not a recent article, it's from 2016, but it could explain what's happening today. As we know, after the Ridgecrest earthquake in the West, we've had a lot of seismicity on the West Coast and also in the New Madrid seismic area. And from what we read just a few videos ago, the USGS has notified us that the New Madrid seismic zone is becoming active. And this is actually the real foot rift zone. It's a failed rift valley going all across from the southwest to the northeast, from Texas all the way up Mississippi, all the way up to the Canadian area of the St. Lawrence River. Now, the southeastern United States, hit by a series of strange unexplained quakes, researchers have been baffled. They believe the area should be relatively quiet since it's in the middle of a tectonic plate. In terms of seismic activity, it's located in the interior of the northern American plate, the North American plate, and far away from plate boundaries where earthquakes usually occur. And now they believe that these quakes could be caused by pieces of the Earth's mantle actually breaking off and sinking into the Earth. This, these are, of course, various images from USGS. Researchers believe the quakes could be caused by pieces of Earth's mantle breaking off, falling towards the east, sinking into the planet in the effective area. They say pieces of the mantle have most likely been broken off from underneath the plate since at least 65 million years ago. A new study found pieces of the mantle under this region. They've been periodically breaking off, sinking down into the earth. This thins and weakens the remaining plate, making it more prone to slipping and causing earthquakes. The study authors concluded that this process is ongoing and likely to produce even more earthquakes in the future. They said our idea supports the view that this seismicity will continue due to unbalanced stresses in the plate. This is what Burke Biriol said, he's a seismologist at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, the lead author of this new study. He said the seismic zones that are active will continue to be active for some time. The study was published in the Journal of Geophysical Research, Solid Earth, in the uh, Journal of American Geophysical Union. He said based on distinct variations in the geometry and the thickness of the lithospheric mantle and foundering, foundered lithosphere, we propose that piecemeal delamination has occurred beneath the region throughout the Cenozoic, removing a significant amount of reworked and deformed mantle lithosphere. Compared to earthquakes near plate boundaries, earthquakes in the middle of plates are not well understood and the hazards they pose are difficult to quantify. The new findings could help scientists better understand the dangers these quakes present. And uh, currently, we know recently, the southeastern U.S. is more than 1,056 miles from the nearest edge of the North American plate, which covers all of North America, Greenland, and parts of the Atlantic and Arctic Oceans. But the region was built over the past billion years by periods of accretion when new material was added to the plate and rifting when plates split apart. Researchers initially suspected that ancient fault lines or pieces of old plates extending deep in the mantle following episodes of accretion and rifting 
could be responsible for earthquakes in the area. Broyle said, this region has not been active for a very long time. He said, we're intrigued by what was going on. Now we can link these activities to structures in deeper parts of the Earth. This was an interesting find because everybody thought that this is a stable region and we would expect regular plate thickness. At first, they thought the thick old rocks could be remnants of ancient tectonic plates. But the shapes and locations of the thick and thin regions suggest a different explanation. Through past rifting and accretion, areas of the North American plate have become more dense and were pulled downward into the mantle through gravity. At certain times, the denser part broke off from the plate and sank into the warm asthenosphere below. The asthenosphere, being lighter and more buoyant, surged in to fill the void created by the missing pieces of mantle, eventually cooling to become the thin young rock in the images. The researchers concluded that the process is likely what causes earthquakes in this otherwise stable region. When the pieces of mantle break off, the plate above them becomes thinner and more prone to slip along ancient fault lines. Typically, the thicker the plate, the stronger it is, and the less likely to produce earthquakes. Now, according to Broyle, he said pieces of the mantle have most likely been bre breaking off from underneath the plate since at least 65 million years ago, and because the researchers found fragments of hard rocks at shallow depths, this process is still ongoing and likely to continue into the future, potentially leading to more earthquakes in the region. This is how he explained the activity. Now, how they were able to find out what was going on, how they looked inside the Earth, to find out what was happening deep below the surface, the researchers created 3D images of the mantle portion of the North American plate. As we can see, it goes all the way from, for example, part of Russia, Kamchatka Peninsula, all that area there, over Greenland, over all of Canada, over, over all of the United States, and uh, into the mid-Atlantic. Just as doctors image internal organs by tracing the paths of x-rays through human bodies, seismologists imagine the interior of the Earth by tracing the paths of seismic waves created by earthquakes as they move through the ground. These waves travel faster through colder, stiffer, dense rock and they go slower through warmer and more elastic rocks. Rocks cooled and hardened as they age, so the faster seismic waves travel and the older the rocks. The researchers used tremors caused by earthquakes more than 2,200 miles away, and that's how they created a 3D map of the mantle underlying the United States, east of the Mississippi River and south of the Ohio River. They found plate thickness in the southeast U.S. to be fairly uneven. They saw thick areas of dense older rock stretching downward and thin areas of less dense younger rock. So perhaps we have to keep this in mind, talking about New Madrid seismic zone, that it has to do with the mantle cracking and falling off towards the southeast. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue 
my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.